One, two, three, four. A limited. The California Beach Boy. Surf's up. Picking up good vibrations. Would you drop another girl ever? No. Never? I sleep with my roommate every night. You sleep time. with your roommate? Excellent. This is my plan. Totally awesome, dude. I wanted to set the record for the four-way kiss. Here we go. The four-way kiss. <laughs> Due to the sexy nature of the four-way kiss, it cannot be shown for promotional purposes. To see more of the kiss, you must tune into the next episode of Eliminate. It all starts now. Eliminate. One, two, three, four. Eliminate. <laughs> I'm Ben. I'm a surf instructor and a pilot from Manhattan Beach, California. I get paid to do what I love, and girls think it's pretty cool. I need a girl who can uh, keep up with me in any situation, whether it be on the surfboard or uh, any adventure that we might be having. I'm really excited to go on this date with four beautiful women. So, surf's up. A limit day. <laughs> I chose Venice Beach for my date because this is my scene, this is where I grew up, and I really hope the girls will like it down here. Personality is definitely number one important thing, but uh, if she doesn't have a rack, then. I'm looking for a guy who is down to earth, natural, and real. Cheesy pickup lines are a turn off. Hey, my name is Cheryl, and I'm the kind of girl that likes to have a good time. You name it, and I'll do it. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you doing? What's your name? Cheryl. Cheryl, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Great. When Cheryl walked up, I thought, she's pretty hot. She's looking good. When I walk into a room, all heads turn. It's tough being me. Hi, my name is Heidi, and I dance in the electrical parade at the happiest place on Earth. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm Heidi. Heidi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ben, he's a cute guy. He seems like an all-American type guy. I've never dated anyone outside the Marine Corps, so this will be my first time. Hi, I'm Malaya, and I'm a corporal in the Marine Corps. And all you other girls, you are D-O-R, drop on request. Hi. Hi. I'm Ben. Hi, Ben. My nice name's Malaya. You. Malaya, nice to meet you. When Malia walked up, she was looking really good. She had her bikini top on, she was showing it off, so that was pretty cool. On this date, I want to keep the attention of the guy and have him focus on me. My name is Valerie. I'm a pre-med student at the University of Illinois. I'll be a senior this year, and I'm living in L.A. this summer. Hi. Hi. I am Val. Hi, Val. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when Valerie first walked up, she gave me a kiss on the hand, and I was like, wow, that's a little forward. I thought kiss on the hand was kind of uh, sweet, yet kind of leads you to think maybe there's something more to come. Cool. So. We're gonna head over to this restaurant right here, get a few drinks. You guys ready? Yeah. All, right. All right, here we go. For the first round, we're gonna head up to the Whaler for a few drinks so I can get to meet the girls and see what they're all about. That's well, awesome. hey, cheers, everybody. Yeah. Cheers. Nice. cheers. Nice. There we go. Wonderful. Hey. Yeah, shoot, tell me, what do you guys do? Like, professions or fun things or? In like eight years, I might have a job. So I'm going nice. To okay. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's gonna be a long time. Very cool. Dedicated. Okay. So you're saying you strip? Oh, no, I was kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Heidi, she's a dancer, but she doesn't seem to respect her body too much at all. Um, I just got back from London, so I've been traveling for the last two cool. years throughout Europe. No way. Snowboarded in France and hiked the mountains oh? in Egypt. No way. And yeah, I just like to get out there. That's awesome. It was cool. That's very cool. Hi, my name is Cheryl, and I've been to Zimbabwe, Guadalajara, I don't know. Who cares where you've been, Cheryl? We don't care. I'm a Marine. You're, you're a Marine? Yes. How do they let you have long hair like that? <laughs> we all don't have to cut off our hair. No, that's cool, that's cool. We actually do share it. No way. I found out that Malia was in the Marines. I was like, oh no, is she gonna kick my ass if I eliminate her? Can I ask you why you went on our first date in the bikini? Actually, well, we're in Venice, we're on the beach. Right. I love the beach, I love the ocean. We're on a date, we're eating in a restaurant. Put on a shirt. So like, Ooh. if I showed up in like, a thong, <laughs> you think I was? I'd have to smack my ass. <laughs> I thought it was a little too much and over the top because we had just sat out, really. Yeah, so what do you like to do? <laughs> um, I'm a pilot, aviation major, that kind of stuff. Are you going to fly commercial? Hopefully someday I'll, fl I'll fly commercially and... Um, it's never yeah. scary. I hate flying. It scares me really bad. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because I had a really bad experience on it. Let's hear it. I was flying and my plane hit an air pocket and we fell 1,100 feet. Wow. And the drink cart landed on my lap. 
Heidi's saying that she doesn't like flying, which is like his life dream. It's like, um, are you serious? He's a pilot. What is she thinking? Maybe he'd like to show me that flying isn't such a scary thing after all. Did really you at least scary. get a free flight? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's crazy. Yeah. So like, uh, you guys are just meeting each other and stuff like that. Um, how far do you think uh, another person would go, like, in a date? I think it depends on the man. Really? It yeah, depends on the man? Yeah, it's all about the girl. <laughs> so you need a more forward guy? If you want to get somewhere. <laughs> I like a forward guy to a point, but I don't like the smothery forward guy right. who's all like, oh my gosh, you know, like pet you all the time. So do you guys know about the smother technique? No. The smother What's technique? The smother technique? That's like where a guy goes and he hangs out with you all night long and like hangs by your side until you get so annoyed at them you're like, all right, fine, I guess we'll... The smother guy. <laughs> Do you guys have a problem maybe with um, showing your affection outside with other people, like, you know, PDA, that kind of whole thing? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, like, say, say if you were like holding hands with somebody or kissing, like, would you, if you saw somebody else doing that, would you be like, that's disgusting? Well, they're like making right? out. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, like, yeah. if somebody's making out on the wall, you'd be like, that's so gross. Like, if someone right here, you're eating dinner and they're just totally making out, you're like, seriously, you're yeah. supposed to eat and just like conversate. That's so wrong. <laughs> Conversate? I wouldn't want you filling my prescriptions. Thanks. You think it's wrong? I think if it's appropriate. I mean, you know, if you're groping each other on top of each other, that's a totally different story. But it's like get a room. Public affection is fine. I mean, that's. Would you grope another girl ever? No. Never. <laughs> never. I never. I sleep with my roommate every night. You sleep fine. with your roommate? Same bed. Do you guys like spoon each other? I mean, kind of. In a way, you wake up and you're like, oh. <laughs> so that means you would have like lesbian tendencies. I wouldn't go that far. Well, I wouldn't sleep with my friends and spoon them. But it's different whenever it's the only bed. See? I feel like she had a big issue that she needs to get over because it's really. It's not a big deal at all. Well, I would. You're in a studio. Uh, <laughs> then you I take a shower with them. <laughs> I mean, no, you take a shower. All the time. time. Like, wow. I, I was a swimmer. She <laughs> used to be taking showers together. Yeah, yeah, all the time. time. You see them with Val and Cheryl showering and spooning with their friends. Maybe those two need a hookup on a date. Hi, can I steal you Hi. for a minute? Steal me? Yeah. Come on, I'm going to steal you. Okay. Come on, take conversation at the table was so boring that I decided to pull Ben aside and do a shot with him. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, don't go anywhere. You're going to do a shot at tequila with Okay. Me. It's a little bold. A little shot. Just trying to get him drunk and take a yeah. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just a little. Uh-oh. Now that she's making it out, now she's trying to move in on the kiss that I shared with Ben <laughs> was along the lines of, thanks for doing a shot with me. Just a little pack, just to let him know that I think he's cute and I'm interested. <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, we're back. Are you sure you got a stripper? We're not sure yet. We have a stripper. Woo! We're not a stripper. <laughs> I am not a stripper. I dance at a family park in a parade. Coming up, Ben makes his first cut. And later... Sometimes on Eliminate, you might see the three-way kiss, but I wanted to set the record for the four-way kiss. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think Ben will eliminate first? Cheryl, Heidi, Malia, or Valerie? Well, ladies, the time has come where I'm supposed to eliminate somebody, and uh, I really had a hard time because I had a great time with all of you, but... Um, the one person that I didn't feel the most connection with was uh, was you, Malia. I'm sorry, you're eliminated. Don't be sorry, it's okay. All right. It was nice meeting you. Though. Nice meeting you. Have, have a good fun. time. Thank you. You guys have fun. All right. Bye. Bye. It was really hard to cut Malia because she's so beautiful, but the problem was she just didn't have anything to say. When I first saw Ben, I was not impressed at all. I, um, I'm very picky, and he just wasn't my type. I think Malia was more interested in her M16 than she was Ben. Ben, I hope you find the one that you're looking for. In round two, I took the girls to the terrace because it's a little bit more intimate place, a little bit more romantic. So tell me, what's the most romantic thing that you guys have ever done for a guy? Everything I do is romantic. Oh, really? Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> do you have anything? I think that the most romantic thing I ever did was um, 
I hiked Mount Sinai in the middle of the night. It's in Egypt. It's the okay. mountain that Moses received the Ten Commandments from. Oh, wow, that's very good. And in the middle of the night, we hiked it, and it's in the desert. So the stars, there was about millions of stars you can see. And then we watched the sunrise. It was awesome. That's very good. Cheryl and romance. There is no Cheryl and romance with Moses. Yeah, really, when I when I think of Moses, I really think, ooh, that's sexy. Well, maybe Val can show you some other things she does with her roommate. Yeah, yeah really, your about your roommate. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I have friends that I've seen kiss that are girls. Really? They're like boys, but they've kissed, and I'm like, I mean, whatever. <laughs> you know, we even took pictures of it, but... <laughs> Okay. Wow, that's what do you guys really, think about that? That's just fascinating to me. I would never... Just okay. sleep with another girl? Just to sleep? I mean, really, it's it's, oh, it's innocent just to sleep. I slept with like five people at a bed at spring break. No we, way! There was two yeah. of us in a room, so we're all like... All girls? Yeah. Girls and then a couple guys came with us. Really? We're all just like crazy. What lucky guys. <laughs> when Valerie started talking about sleeping with another girl, I was pretty much in heaven. Yeah. You sleep with a girl, you're comfortable with a girl. Would you do anything other than just sleep with her? No. What if, like, the girl you called into bed with brought it on? Would you go on it? No, because I know she would. Like, I know yeah. my roommate because I've lived with her for two years and I... Just as maybe a joking thing. But, like, how do you know that? Maybe oh, maybe. I don't know my roommate's kids by one roommate because some dudes like, I'll give you $50 if you do it. And she's like, whatever. <laughs> she so would you do it for 50 bucks? Uh, yeah. yeah. I kiss my roommate for 50 bucks. Oh. <laughs> Would you kiss any of your girlfriends for 50 bucks? Um, like make out. I don't like know. I don't really have that big of a problem with it at all. But <laughs> I, mean, I would rather do it for free if I wanted to do there it. There you go. There yeah. you go. Sometimes if you're having a good time with your friend, you never know. And keep an open mind. I think if you get these girls liquor, they'll both do it for free and they won't stop and they'll probably end up leaving together. Uh, do you guys have any questions for each other that you might you might want to ask? Something that you want to know about the other person? Uh, yeah. What is the word conversate? I think you just made that up. She said it earlier. Oh, really? Yeah. You're supposed to eat and just like conversate. That's so wrong. Oh, so you're making fun of what she said earlier. Did you say conversate? Yeah. I've heard it, but I don't use it. I don't know what language Valerie is speaking, but conversate is definitely not in the English language. It's kind of funny to me that they're they're so hung up on a word that's really not a big deal. Here is a Webster's dictionary. As you can see, dear Val, conversate. Not a word. So this is the end of round two, and you guys have heard of the triple kiss, right? Well, we have four people sitting around the table. Do you think we could pull off the four-way kiss? On a limited, you might see the three-way kiss. I wanted to set the record for the four-way kiss. We need to all meet in the middle? I think we should all meet in the oh, middle yeah. and pull off the four-way kiss. All right. Can we do that? Yeah. All right. There we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> my plan is working. If anybody bums out, that's gonna suck. You ready? Okay. Here we go, the four way. Here we go. Nice. I shoved my way far enough so that I just kissed Ben. It was kind of nice. I was like, excellent. This is my plan. Who will Ben cut next? I think Ben is going to eliminate Heidi. I do think that Ben is going to eliminate Heidi. Now, for studying to be a doctor, conversate. It's not even a word. It's ridiculous. Conversate. Not a word. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Ben going to eliminate next? Cheryl, Heidi, or Valerie? Girls, I had a great time at the terrace, but now comes the time where I have to eliminate somebody. And because you're a little bit too forward with me, Heidi, I'm gonna have to eliminate you. It's a girl to do. I'm sorry. Uh, have fun with the boring talks, <laughs> you know. I guess that means we go on. So, uh, <laughs> Heidi, right from the get-go, was way too forward with me. She tried holding me. She tried kissing me with a tequila shot. And it wasn't all about it. She was just way too forward. He's looking for someone boring, and he wants to go on picnics and skinny dip in Mount Sinai. Knock yourself out, dude. <laughs> Heidi got cut because she thinks she has sex appeal, but she's just sort of trampy. God, I'm at a loss for words. Oh, my God, I'm 
turning into them. So I'm gonna get out of here really fast before I end up boring. So we're gonna head to the hot tub, get a little bit hot. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Ready. Yeah. Ready. Round three, we're gonna go back to my place, jump in the jacuzzi, and uh, we're gonna get these girls hot and wet. <laughs> When Valerie came around the corner, I was like, oh my god, that girl's got it on upstairs. Cheryl's bikini was really small and her ass looked great. Oh, wow. Well, cheers, huh? So really, we're in the hot tub. This is a pretty romantic place. What's your most romantic kiss that you guys have ever had? I don't want to sound like the world traveler. <laughs> I definitely, when I did the running of the bulls in Spain, no I met an Australian guy there. Did he, he poke you in the butt or did the bull? <laughs> no, neither. Come on. No, he um, basically lifted me up onto the balcony. I don't know, he's really buff, so it was good. And afterwards, he just kissed me. It was cool. I was able to see the running of the bulls. Very cool. And, like, Chill, I haven't heard one good story in the United States. And I think you should start focusing on where you're at right now, other than where you have been. Most kids are pretty romantic to me because as weird as it sounds, I'm not a huge like makeout person. Okay. You know, the whole PDA thing I have. I have a list because so most kids are like really special to me. Okay. Like, you know, I don't want to just make out with him. Like, oh, I'm not one of those girls. You like know, like. You know, Wait, you like, don't want to make out with me? <laughs> you know, like those atypical girls. You know, that like they just make out and it's like random. True. I can't do that. So most kids are special, but. It's just not my style. I don't make out. You know what? I am really torn. I'm totally 100% <laughs> torn. Like, I don't know what to say. I really want you guys to show me something that, <laughs> I mean, that seriously. Stands out. Show me something that stands out in my mind because I'm so torn. What about a good kiss? Oh. Let's see that. Well, hey. So I'm trying to give this girl a little bit of tongue and she was not having it. She's like, uh-uh. Definitely a good kisser. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you. He's a good Cheers kisser. to that. Cheers to that. That's good yeah. to hear. I'll take it with me. I'm not a make-out, remember? I can't put a hold that against me if I, you know, let him know. Oh, okay. Let him know. Okay. Okay. Valerie and I Valerie really clung to the I'm not a make-outer and I just think it seemed really childish. She really had a lot of class in saying, hey, I might not want to kiss you yet. Do you like massages or anything like that? <laughs> oh, go for a good massage. Good massage is all you can ever do. All right, please do. I mean, really, what, what about what a foot massage? A foot massage at the same time? Uh, please. Valerie brought up the massage thing because she didn't want to go for the kiss, and I do give her credit for that because massages can be really sensual. So out of all the sorority parties that you go to, you've uh -oh. never made out with a guy. Never. You're uh -oh. a sorority girl. Uh -oh. I mean, really, what sorority is you from? Kappa Kappa Never? I don't know where it stemmed from, but the saliva complex is more like, I think I think about it too much. It's just like, yuck to me. It's just very yuck. Really, when you get down and dirty with a guy, you gotta be comfortable with saliva. Will it be Cheryl or Valerie? Ben's final cut is next. A limited. <laughs> oh. Girls, I've had an incredible date, and you guys are very beautiful, but it's come time and I really need to make a decision. I do have to eliminate you, Valerie, because you really didn't step up to the plate. And I was, I was, I was waiting for something to see something a little bit more. So I'm sorry, you're gonna have to leave the jacuzzi. It's all right. It was all nice right. seeing you. Nice meeting you. I hope you didn't make the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. Yay! I think it's his loss because he didn't get to know me, and I think I'm a better person as far as going outgoing and personality. Valerie, you really need to be less of a teaser and more of a pleaser. Ben made the wrong decision because he's basing his decision on. A kiss? Yeah.